it always says that it's setting up the Zoom webinar, and uh, we need to make sure that this gets muted. Hello, replay viewer, and welcome, welcome, welcome. So once this comes on, I'm going to share this to my personal page so that we get this rocking and rolling. Uh, we're going to share uh, share on your own timeline. There we go. And you're going to paste that. There that goes. Bear with me. There's a lot oh, that needs to happen here. And today, come back here. Today we're talking about three tips that you can use to improve your public profile appearance. Okay. So all this week we've been talking about appearance and positioning. So when somebody comes to your particular uh, business page, are they really getting the gist of who you are? Okay. So I see that we have three people on right now getting the phone out. So I see who you are. Welcome Jason and Lauren Jane. Thank you so much. Okay. And um, if you know somebody who would like to be here or has registered in the event, why don't you tag them in the comments so that they can get the notification. I know that people have things going on, but this is the way that we really help the algorithm, help ourselves and help you. So if you want to be able to spread this message more, then we can share more people. And I also do giveaways and I do incentives for being a um, a person that just likes to share good stuff. Okay. So with that being said, uh, Claudia, thank you so much for sharing this video. I really appreciate it. So here's the deal. Today's going to be a very, uh, screen share heavy, um, video. So bear with me. We're going to screen share the Google Chrome. Here we go. And I think it's this one. All right, here we go. So let's get rid of that. All right. So from here, we want to choose my business page, okay? So we're gonna go to my business page here, <clears throat> okay? So number one, okay, what's the number one thing you need on your cover photo, okay? Come over here, I have like a command center going on here, guys, okay? This is really awesome. All right, what's the number one thing that you need on your cover photo, okay? So what you see here is my cover photo, okay? and you need to be able to let people know what it is that you do within the first five seconds. If they don't know or they cannot assess themselves what you do within the first five seconds, you've lost them, okay? That's what we call a marketing fail. So we wanna be able to make it very clear for them to say, hey, here I am, here's what I'm all about, here's what we do, and now the, the client or the prospective customer now knows, okay, Ben Perry is all about this. So when they come and they see my profile, they see organic Facebook secrets, like, and then they see my face. So the, my face pops up, join the community of over 1,000 members, organic Facebook secrets, actionable tactics to help you increase your organic Facebook engagement. So I've said what it is that I do, and then I spelled it out for them, okay? So if organic Facebook secrets wasn't clear enough, then I also have actionable tactics to help you increase your organic engagement. Welcome, Sandy Sanders. So type a one in the comments, okay, if this is making sense to you, okay? Type, type a one in the comments, all right? And uh, so what I've realized is that a lot of people are not that savvy as to what organic means, okay? So in the marketing world, organic is synonymous with word of mouth. Organic is opposite from pay traffic, okay? Spending ads on Facebook. So with that being said, organic Facebook secrets is all about boosting and increasing your engagement on Facebook without having to pay for ads. And welcome and good morning, Sandy Sanders. So if you wanna hear, okay, if you wanna hear uh, why it's so important to let people know what it is that you do within the first five seconds, type a two in the comments, all right? So when someone first comes to your profile, all right, what's most, what's most likely happening is it's a passive visit, okay? Thank you so much, Sandy, for sharing, sharing the video, okay? It's a passive visit. Now, what's the difference between a passive visit and an active visit, okay? When someone interacts with you for the first time, live, in person, or they see you on a video just like this, there's a certain level of connection that's created, okay? Because you can see the person talking, you can read their body language, you can look into their eyes, and you can generally tell, okay, like 
what kind of person they are, all right? We're really good as human beings at being able to pick up subtle cues in body language. Women, 10 times as much so. So it's really important to let them know because what's most likely happening is you are having a passive visit, okay? A passive interaction. And passive interactions, whether you're a great person or not, generally trend towards the negative, okay? So if somebody comes to your profile and they're all by their lonesome, and they don't have any other social pressure, okay? Their first inclination, generally speaking, is that they're gonna think negatively. Now, I'm not saying they're gonna immediately think negatively of you, but because you're not there to either defend yourself or you're not there to speak to them just like this, we gotta do the best that we can to make that first good impression, okay? So what you see is you see my photo, it's up there, I'm smiling. It's like a kind of nice, like, um, you know, warm uh, and cozy kind of feeling. I'm wearing the red and black kind of flannel shirt. It looks really, really kind of like laid down. You know, oh, thank you so much for sharing, Jason. Appreciate that. So we've got four people that have shared this video. Thank you. Know, let's see some hearts and some likes for those shares because you guys are awesome. We've got eight people that are watching now. Also, you that are watching the replay, I know you're going to get a ton of value out of this as well, okay? So that's the number one thing, okay, for this video, okay? the number one thing you need to cover uh, that you need on your cover photo, okay? Number two, okay, um, is the first and the second thing people see on your business profile, okay, when they, when they visit your page, okay? The number one thing, okay, number one, they see your cover photo. So if you look at this, you see the cover photo, and this is big. This is so much real estate. This is not the way that it used to be, but Facebook's been very, very careful and they've been researching and they put a lot of money into this at eye tracking software, okay? So they've changed things up because they know where the eye gets pulled to. So if it's a business page, businesses know that you wanna advertise. So they gave you a front and center advertising piece. It's like having a billboard up. So you come to my page, here's the billboard. What's on your billboard? Does your billboard tell say what it is that you do? Is it clear for them? Okay, so that's the first thing that somebody's eyes um, like train to. Okay, guys, type a three in the comments if you want to hear the exact second thing that people look at when they come to your business page. All right, the exact second thing that they look at when they come to your business page. Type a three in the comments. Okay, welcome, Carlos Chan. Welcome to have you. So glad that you're here, man. We're covering all about. Facebook business page, right? And how to get your, your business page optimized so that people have a positive impression when they show up, they know what it is that you do, and we're talking about where their eyes go when they first come to your business page. So the number one thing they look at is your cover photo. It's basically your banner, your own billboard. The second thing that they look at, I see a couple threes here, is your profile photo, okay? Now your profile photo could be good, it could be not good, okay? It really depends, it could be your logo, it could be um, any sort of thing, but if it doesn't look professional, okay? If you're marketing yourself as a professional person selling business stuff, and that's the kind of thing that you are into, all right? Then you wanna have a, uh, a profile photo that matches what it is that you do. Sometimes big companies just have their logo, like Nike just has their logo, Coca-Cola, they just need to put their Coke on there, right, in their special font. Those things work. But if you're a small business owner like I am, then you want to be able to have a, a profile photo that makes people want to interact with you, okay? So again, I use the exact same photo because this is a powerful photo, okay? So type a four in the comments if you want to uh, hear real quick, all right, some tips about how to get a profile photo looking really, really good so that people have a positive impression when they look at you, okay? Type a four in the comments. So you need to be able to be looking straight at the camera when you have your profile photo, okay? Uh, provided that's your, you know, your portrait. So you have a profile photo where you're looking straight into the camera, you're smiling, okay? And if you don't have good teeth, I know I didn't for a very long time, okay? I had really, really messed up teeth. They were all like, they were all crooked. I eventually got braces. I eventually got crowns and stuff. Can you believe that my two front teeth are not real? Yeah, that's a little known secret that most people don't know, all right? They're two porcelain crowns. Why? Because I got them knocked out when I was in seventh grade. So yeah, I totally understand it. And I went for years without having two front teeth. So I know what it's like 
to not have teeth and not be uh, confident in your smile. But I will tell you this, even if you do smile without any teeth or if you have anything that's messed up, I guarantee you it's not any worse than what I had, but I was still able to do it. And it's just, it lights up your face. It really makes somebody endearing to you. You can go to any other culture on this planet, okay? And they might speak a different language, but we all speak the language of body language, okay? And body language is universal. So take advantage of that, all right? So the next tip, okay? Type a five in the comments, all right? If you wanna hear what is the crucial thing that you need to communicate if you want engagement on your page or if you want engagement with your business, okay? Type a five down below. And I'm so, so excited to see um, everyone here. I'm so glad that you guys have shared this. I really appreciate it. Let's see some more hearts and likes, all right? Let's light it up. Light it up because that helps us. It helps the video. And it just, it's good, good fun, all right? So we got some fives coming in. So the number one crucial thing that you need to do in order to increase exposure, all right, and engagement on your page is you need to have a call to action, okay? So people need to know what it is that you do and they need to know what do you want them to do? If you don't have a call to action, then the people are gonna come to your page, okay, that's cool, and they're gonna go away, all right? Now your call to action could be anything. It could be sign up for my email list. It could be join my group like mine is. It could be, hey, check out, um, uh, uh, leave a comment, all right? Leave a comment or any one of these, as long as you're having them do something, all right? And now I recommend having them do something so that you can still talk to them. Why do I have people sent to my group? All right, if you look at my profile photo here or if my, uh, my cover photo, you see I have click to join and I have a little arrow all right, that points to the learn more, okay? When I click on this, I'm just gonna test the button because this is my, my business page here, all right? When I click on that, it brings me to Organic Facebook Secrets. This is the call to action that I want people to do. I want people to join the group and I want them, because once they join the group, I know that they're going to get a ton of uh, value and they're gonna get a ton of uh, actionable tips. So what's the first thing they do when they join the group? They're not going to see this. They're going to see this. Okay. Then you're going to see the description. They're going to see the members that are inside and they're going to see the description. And the description says, what's the very first thing? Free playbook. Ben Perry secret playbook to red hot organic Facebook engagement. You can pick it up at benperry.co. Very clear. First, another call to action. Okay. So they went for the call to action from my business page for the cover photo saying click here, they clicked here, now they're on the, the group page and the group page says click, uh, go pick up your free playbook, okay? And then I go into talking about how awesome the group is. Well, send a friend request, clickly click that button, send a friend request, I'll get you approved inside the group and you could be increasing your organic engagement just like the thousand other plus members that are inside, okay? And after having already been, let's go back, okay? After already been, on your business page, okay? This is a little bonus, okay? Type a six in the comments if you wanna hear this bonus, all right? And if this stuff is like, is this valuable to you? Let me know if this, va is, if this is valuable to you, right? Type a Y in the comments if this is all valuable to you or if this is stuff that, you know, it's like, yeah, okay, this is nice to know, Ben, but this isn't really like blowing my mind, okay? I think every little bit helps, all right? Every little bit in order to help yourself get more eyeballs on your stuff, I think it totally helps, okay? <clears throat> so here's the, the special bonus, okay? If you come down here, you want your reviews to be one of the first things people see, okay? If you look over here on the left-hand side, all these tabs, all right? We have reviews is the very first thing after home. Now, if you didn't know this, people get to see on your page's timeline, things show up according to how you have the hierarchy here on the left-hand side. Okay, so you, they're gonna see reviews, then they're gonna see services, then they're gonna see offers, then photos, then videos, and then eventually posts, okay? So you want the very first thing, okay, once people scroll, all right, now this is my business page, but this is the first thing they're gonna see, reviews. You want these reviews to be featured because this is providing you social proof. If other people are saying how awesome you are, if other people are really singing your praises, then it's gonna make people more uh, likely to trust you, all right, initially. What happens is that a lot of people aren't actually going to read these reviews. I know, shocker, right? 
I think we're done here. We're done with this, the sharing, okay? But, but I wanna make this very clear to you, okay? All right, type a, where are we at now? Type a seven in the comments, okay? If you wanna hear why people don't necessarily read the reviews, but why it's important to have them there in the first place, okay? Welcome, Luke, darling. Welcome, welcome, all right? So type a seven down below if you wanna hear why it is, okay? People don't necessarily read the reviews, but why it's still important to feature them. Here's the thing. People want to feel safe. People want to feel like they're being taken care of and they want to have security, right? Maybe they want uh, to try something new. Maybe they want to experience, you know, something new, but they, and they're approaching you for whatever product or service that you have, but they also want to know that other people have tried you out as well. They, nobody wants to be first. Okay. Nobody wants to be first. So if you have some reviews on there, even though they might gloss over them, They'll, they'll realize, okay, this person's vetted, essentially. So as long as you're vetted and as long as you have some reviews on there, okay, ideally not preempted, okay, every review that I have on mine was either because I said, hey, could you guys leave a review if you want? And that's it, okay? I didn't do any prompting. I didn't, all those are organic, okay? But it's good to have those because then that allows people to trust you, okay, especially when they first visit your profile. So this whole video and this whole weekly series has been all about how to position and how to uh, increase your positioning and your appearance when it comes to your organic Facebook uh, engagement, okay? I see Jason says, I started looking for reviews to add them but need to get that still. All right, yeah, you can go into settings and add reviews inside of the settings, okay? It's very simple. I might do a separate video on this, all right? But has this been valuable to you? Let's see some hearts and likes, okay? And for you watching the replay too, thank you so much. And if you are inside of the event, um, organic Facebook positioning and appearance, okay, then you could check out all the other videos that were in this week, okay? So if you happen to find this video all by itself, then know that there's an event out there that has matching uh, themes for this particular event. Okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And we, this has been something new that I've done for this particular week. I really wanted to just kind of hammer in and get these videos out there and get it into this new platform, get it into this new structure where I'm putting things into the event. I'm sharing it to my page and I'm really utilizing my business page a little bit more than I have in the past. Okay. So these things are not necessarily things that I've just like hey, I'm just going to start teaching this. No, this is stuff that I've learned from other people who are a lot further along on their or like organic Facebook um, uh, success, if you, might, uh, if you might say. And I'm bringing it back here and I'm a fast action implementer. So thank you so much. I appreciate your time. And that's it. Stay tuned for tomorrow where I'll be going live again at 10 a.m. for a special secret squirrel topic. Okay. I think you're really going to like it. So with that being said, I appreciate you. I'll talk to you later.